questions for Coach, please. What's it like coming around uh, different parts of the state? I know you were in Greenville the other day back here. Uh, talk about being Kingsport. Well, it's great. I mean, to be a part of the fans, to get involved. Because what happens during the season, you're so busy with games, scheduling, recruiting. So this time when you get a chance to get out and show the fans your appreciation for what they bring to the team, what they do for our guys, and the support that they give our programs. We talked a little bit about your shout program. You're going to be coming to Kingsport here next month. And Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, statewide Hoops Outreach Tour. It's just one of those deals to get the young guys involved, get that power team in front of the guys at an early age. It's a fun thing to be a part of. The guys love it. Their parents love it. We do a lot of basketball drills. We get our players involved. If they're, they're not in class, our players will be a part of it. So it's fun times for everyone. That was tough. Sorry, I was just going to say, so how important are those, those camps for teaching lessons beyond the court? I know you I mean, they're very important, but more than anything, just really getting in front of the young guys uh, and once again put their power to their face uh, just to reach out because what happens during the season, a lot of times financially some people can't afford to come to games. They can't be a part of the Knoxville atmosphere, so we try to take the action to them, so to speak, and just to let them know we appreciate what they do. Let's talk about your team coming back for next year and Jardell coming back and Frey and you got Raymond coming back. And I'm excited. That sounds good. I mean, but you know, it's fun times for our guys. Excited about it. I thought with, with Jerron Maiman out, like I said, now the season's over. I thought Jordan L. Stokes, Jordan McCray, Armani Moore, Josh Richardson really grew without Jerron Maiman. So I think now putting them back in the fold with the guys we have coming in as, as freshmen, I, I think we're excited about what we're capable of doing and, and the team we're capable of becoming. Talk about your point guard situation, man. How you doing? I feel good about it. I mean, right now the guy, one guy I don't want to play in the point guard position uh, is Jordan McCray. I want him to score the ball and shoot a lot of balls, you know, so that's his job. But I think Darius Thompson's the guy right now at that position. Obviously, he got to earn it. Monty Moore's the guy who can do it. Josh Richardson's the guy that's capable of doing it. And we're still looking around for other guys. So, there's been some talk about Jarnell on, on Twitter, playing some 5 on 5 stuff, looking really mobile. I mean, what, what's the latest on Jarnell? I mean, excuse me, on Jerron and just sort of how's he doing? Oh, Jerron, I mean, he. In the workouts, he looked really good. He shot the ball well. He's one of those guys that always been able to make moves off the drill by 6'7", you know, 260 pounds. So he's always had that. He has that back. His shot looks good. But the thing that he brings to the table is outside of scoring and rebounds, the leadership, the level of toughness. You know, and it's one of those guys that I kind of equate it to a guy that's a big brother out there. And those guys lean on him. And I thought with him being out, the guys had to grow up. And I think with him being back, I think we got a chance to be really good. With what John Allen had to carry on his shoulders last year, those two guys back together, I mean, how formidable could they be down on the blocks? Well, you're talking about two guys that can score on the blocks in one -on one cases. It's tough for one guy to guard those two guys the whole, whole night. But both of those guys out there together with the way they rebound, and you get shooters around them, guys that are able to make plays. You're talking about, you know, tough, tough guys because they're, they're very aggressive. And it takes two guys to guard those guys down on the blocks, in my opinion. So now you're talking about guarding those guys one-on-one -on -one with the other guy on the other side rebound. That's a tough thing to go against. What have you seen from Darius Thompson that suggests he could come in and play the point? Well, I think you're talking about a guy 6'4", with a great feel, a great IQ, a guy that can make shots. He's a coach's son. He understands how to play. doesn't mind passing the ball. But more than anything, he's a guy that can make perimeter shots and make decisions with the basketball. I think he'll come in as one of our better passes out the gates. And what about the other freshman, uh, Robert Hubs? How, how quickly could he get into that mix? Well, my thing, although I've always said with freshmen, grow at your own pace. That's the most important thing. Allow those guys to grow up at their own pace, at their own time. A.J. Davis, a 6'8 guy, pushing 6'9, can play a lot of position, can handle the ball, can make plays. Robert Hubs, a guy that can score the ball, a tremendous athlete. But I think more than anything, they'll have experienced guys around them. So when they hit those bumps in the road, these guys can pick them up. I know it's not official, but uh, you know, your thoughts on the Memphis series possibly come back? Look forward to so I think it'll be great for the state of Tennessee, great for our fans. I'm quite sure their fans look forward to it as well. So hope we can get that thing settled and move forward. What, what's the schedule look like next year, Coach? What can you tell so us? So far, we're not complete, but we, we have the tournament in the Bahamas. I, I think Kansas in the tournament, Villanova, Iowa, UTEP, USC, Wake Forest, Xavier, so some very talented teams in that tournament. Uh, we have Virginia at home. We should be a top 25 team. We got Xavier. We got at Wichita State. And we're looking for one more BCS school right now, amongst the other teams that we're currently playing. Did you say you're working with two Wichita? Yes, two Wichita and two Xavier. Is that the original plan? Or yes. Was that to be? Yes. And they came out facing the team. But you guys not in that first place at SEC Big 12? No. Not in that yet this year. That's next year, right? Yeah. Thank you. Right, thanks, All right, coach. Thanks, coach.